welcome to my channel. My name is Krizia and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve this makeup look right here. This makeup look, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> It took me such a long time to achieve a look that I envisioned because I didn't practice and I didn't prepare. I wanted to give up on this look halfway through it because it looked terrible and you guys will see that it looked terrible. But I promise if you stick through it and you keep going at it, it will end up looking pretty decent. So this look is a cut crease eye with blue eyeshadow, which is definitely completely out of my comfort zone. But I'm kind of liking this look. It kind of gives me Kim K vibes from the Mario palette, but I'm obviously not her. I wish I was, but oh well. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. It would be greatly appreciated. But without further ado, it is time to show you how to achieve this look. So the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my eyes using the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Next, I'm going to apply my Prolong Wear Concealer in NC20 all over my eyes as another eyeshadow base. If you're going to apply concealer all over your eyes, then you don't have to use a primer. But the only reason I used my primer was because I have super oily eyelids. I'm not going to set the concealer because I want my blue eyeshadow to be as pigmented as possible. So I'm going to go straight in with the blue eyeshadow that I will be using. The navy eyeshadow that I will be using today is Contrast, which is by MAC. I'm just going to apply a little bit of this color in my crease and really focusing on my crease. I don't want to bring it too far up and down because I will be cutting the crease. So I really want to keep this color concentrated in one area. Next, I'm going to take a warm transition shade and run that through my crease. The transition shade that I will be using is Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek. I'm just going to run that shade over where I applied the navy just to blend that into my brow bone a little bit. I'm applying contrast again just to darken up the blue color because it has faded a little bit. Next, I'm going to intensify that blue by applying Center Stage, which is a Makeup Geek shadow. It's just a shimmery blue, and I'm going to apply that in my crease. Next, I'm gonna buff that blue out to make it a little bit more seamless and just kind of blend into the navy a little bit. Now, I'm going to take my concealer again and cut my crease. To cut my crease, I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer at first, and then I'm going to open my eyes as wide as possible and look down. Doing that is gonna mark where my cut crease should begin because that is the line of my crease. So now that I have cut the crease and it looks absolutely crazy because I haven't even cleaned up that edge so it literally looks like it's gonna come out terrible, which it might, <laughs> who knows. But anyways, now I'm going to apply the lid shade. And the lid shade that I'm going to be using today is Lace by Anastasia. It is just a cream color, which kind of looks like the concealer, but that is what I want to keep the eye because I want the blue to be the main focus. Now I'm just gonna clean up the edges of my eyes in order to give me a roadmap of where I want to continue applying color for my cut crease. I'm just going to be using a moisturizer and a Q-tip to do this. Honestly, this still looks terrible. <laughs> um, yeah, it looks really bad. To pull this look a little bit together, I'm gonna have to adjust this part of the cut crease because I overestimated what I wanted to do there. So I'm going to just apply a little bit of this blue shadow there to kind of dull that a little bit. So now I'm going to draw a wing using my concealer on my eyes to hopefully salvage this look because it is looking beyond rough right now and I'm about to give up, which is not fun, but whatever. Okay, so we are definitely getting somewhere and I'm so happy this look might end up working out. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of black eyeshadow and apply that right where I cut my crease to give more dimension to that cut. So that is the black applied. Now I'm going to take the navy once again and apply it on top of the black just to mute down that color. Now I'm just going to line my eyes using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the color Trooper. So for the liner, I am just going to apply a super thin black line all over my eyes as well as winging it out to touch the blue. So essentially, I'm closing off that gap between the concealer and light lid shade and the rest of my skin. So now I'm just going to clean up the edges of my eyes by using a makeup remover. I'm using a makeup remover because I used 
so much concealer that it's really thick and I can't take it off with just moisturizer. So I'm just gonna use the cleanser to make sure I have a crisp line. Okay, so those are the eyes cleaned up and miraculously, this look is coming together. So I'm just going to use concealer again and clean up this edge. I'm still using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Now it is time to do my foundation. The foundation that I will be using today is the Dior Forever Foundation in the color 021. I'm just going to dot that on my face and blend it out. Now it is time for concealer again, and I will be using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer underneath my eyes and highlighting my face. So I'm going to apply it on my under eyes, my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and the middle of my forehead. Next, I'm going to be setting my under eyes in the areas I highlighted using the Translucent Setting Powder by Kat Von D. I'm also going to set the rest of my face by using a fluffy brush and this powder as well. So I'm going to be using the Well Rested Concealer by Bare Minerals underneath my eyes to brighten up that area. Now it is time to bronze up my skin. The first bronzer that I'm going to be using is my Hula Bronzer by Benefit and I'm going to apply that all over my face. So I'm going to apply that on my cheeks, my forehead and temples a little bit on my nose and a little bit on my chin because I need that color. Next, I'm going to use a little bit of MAC Refined Golden Bronzer on top of my Hula Bronzer just to give it a little bit more dimension. Now it is time to contour my face. Today I'm going to be using my Anastasia Contour Kit and I'm just going to be contouring my cheekbones, my forehead and temples, and my nose. Now it is time for some blush. Today I'm going to be using the Becca Blush in Damselfly, which is kind of just a peach tone. The blush is done and now it is time to highlight. Today I will be using Champagne Pop by Becca all over my skin. My skin is done and now it is time to do my eyebrows. To save some time, I'm going to do this off camera and I will be right back. So those are my eyebrows done. I use the Anastasia Dip Brow in dark brown as well as my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel to do them. So now it is time to finish up my eyes. For my under eyes, I'm just going to be using the transition shade that I used on the top. Next, I'm going to take Contrast, which is the navy shade, and apply that underneath my eyes using an angled eyeliner brush. I'm also going to apply a little bit of center stage, which was that blue eyeshadow, just to bring a little bit more blue to the look. The last shade I'm going to take on my lower lash line is a black, and I'm going to apply it as close as possible to my lashes in order to just create a little bit of shadow and dimension, but not make it look too crazy. Next, I'm going to apply black gel liner in my waterline. Today, I'm going to be using Swerve by ColourPop Cosmetics. So I just touched up my liner on my top lashes just because it was looking a little bit dull because of all the powders and concealer and everything that I applied. So now that I have touched up my liner, I'm going to apply some Fix Plus to my face because it is looking extremely dry. Now I'm just going to apply my false lashes off camera and I will be right back. So I just applied my Ardell Wispies and now it is time for bottom lash mascara while those are drying. The bottom lash mascara that I will be using on my eyes today is the MAC Extended Play Giga Black lash. Now I'm just going to apply some top lash mascara. Today I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. The reason I'm using mascara on my top lashes is to mold my real lashes to the fake ones. Isn't that dot just so cute? I love it. Whatever. And those are the lashes complete. Now it is time to move on to the lips. So the first step to doing my lips is applying the Steel Lush Water Plumping Primer all over my lips. Next, I'm going to take my all-time favorite lip pencil, which is Spice by MAC, and I'm going to apply that all over my lips. I'm also going to overdraw my lips because my lips are kind of small, and uh, I want them to look a little bit bigger. So those are my lips overlined, and I can't find the liquid lipstick I wanted to use, which is the story of my life. Anytime I want to use a product in my video, I just can't find it, which is like... So today I'm just going to be using the Anastasia liquid lipstick in the color Stripped and then adding a lip gloss on top to make it look a little bit more peachy nude as opposed to just pinky nude. And this right here is the finished look and I've never been happier to finish a look. I thought midway through this video that it was going to be completely trash and I was about to wash my face off, but something in me told me just keep pushing through and see how it turns out. It honestly isn't my best look. 
but I do think it came out pretty good for being the mess that it was. I think my biggest takeaway for you guys in this video is to keep trying and not give up. You know, halfway, like I said, I wanted to give up and I wouldn't have had this look at the end of the day. But I really hope you guys enjoyed, found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and I will see you all in my next video. And I'm in the mall, and I'm in the mall, and I'm in the mall.